Well, it's the morning of signing this thing over to Jacob Lee. I'm going to start that up. No plug-in. Never have to plug these trucks in, these 12 valves. Well, really, none of them. We're going to get the old 12-er here fired up. And we got Jacob's check here. We're going to be good to go. So I'm going to get this started up and pull it into the garage. Runs like a champ. Rolling pretty much solo today in terms of with the video, so bear with me. I'm gonna try to um, do this all with no assistance. My wife's out of town right now. My dad is gonna be showing up at the meeting location. It was essentially just gonna try to capture as much as I can while at the same time hanging out with Jacob a little bit in the process of giving him his truck because he drove all this way, so I can't completely disregard that just to you know have a camera out the whole time. But anyways, guys, we're gonna start this truck up, get it pulled out. I gotta wash it down. We did go through the interior and vacuum everything out and all that stuff, and it looks really good. We do have to go get this truck washed down to meet up with him within like the next hour and a half. So fast forward about two hours, it is now 9.30. We're gonna be sending Jacob a text. Um, we got the truck all cleaned up. It is so hard because it's snowing out here, and they did actually salt the road, so I got it over to the shop. So did my dad. He got nasty right over to, not the shop, the wash station in town right there. And it's literally only like two miles from here. But we wash the trucks off. There's not even snow on the road, but there's just a little bit of melted slush and stuff in some spots. And like this truck, when I got it back, was just like coated with like muddy water. I mean, it was bad. And he, like I backed it in the barn. He's like, dude, he's like, your truck is coated again. I took a microfiber towel and I wiped the whole thing down inch by inch and got all of the dirt and grime off of it. Unfortunately, it's gonna get dirty again as soon as he uh, takes it down the road. Good as we could for being here in the Midwest with a bunch of snow right now, but an indoor wash station where we're giving away our trucks would be uh, absolutely great. Maybe that's something we're gonna start doing here at our new place. We are going to give Jacob a call here, give him a text, give him the address to the location, and meet up with him and get his reaction on his truck. So let me show you another recap though in terms of the interior. Of course, it's got these factory cover-up carpets that are dirty, but underneath is really, really clean. And then you've got the five-speed, of course, 180,000 mile truck. It's got the new dash top. Of course, it's four-wheel drive. We only give away four-wheel drives. He's got $450 of cash right there. He's got a cashier's check made out for $5,000. This right here is the only thing I'm going to show you on the check, but yes, so we do give away five thousand dollars if we say we're giving away five thousand dollars it's been a great truck it's been a lot of fun we haven't had it on the channel very long i'm actually kind of a little bit discouraged the only thing i'm discouraged with about this truck is i actually had some pretty big plans for it and then those plans kind of changed once it went to the shop and we didn't have it for almost eight weeks and then i was like it was just a bummer because i bought it in november and I pretty much had it for like two weeks and then I didn't have it. It's been gone ever since all of December, all of January. I just got it back a couple days ago. Like true story. I told Reagan, I said, when I finally get this truck back, I said, if somebody doesn't pick it, I said, I'm doing, you know, a sport front end, sport grill, color matching, the whole thing. Like, I'm like, it's gonna be getting horsepower upgrades, new custom leather interior, the whole thing. Like it was gonna be like crazy, you know? And since it's got like this navy blue theme going on here, let me show you. It's got like a lot of that navy blue in the dash and stuff and like in here and all this stuff. I was actually going to do a navy blue interior that's custom with black stitching to match the steering wheel and the dash bezel and you know all the other stuff that's black and it, it was going to be, guys, it was going to be awesome. Like that was going to be my plan but you know I'm good with it going the way that it is now too just because like at this point I haven't haven't gotten attached to it at all, and it's an awesome truck, but I haven't had it very long. Jacob's gonna enjoy it. He's gonna have a lot of fun with it, I'm sure. And this is what he wanted, you know, he wanted the 96. He wanted, you know, a lot of meat on the bone, so to speak. He wanted big tire, smaller wheel, and I think he's gonna be absolutely in love with this truck. Jacob is here. Good to see you, man. Hey, how's we it met going? up last night, and I was actually running by the bank, and I was like, "How far are you guys?" He's like, "Oh, like five minutes." I'm like, "I'm literally around the corner." So I stopped by, thought I'd say hi. Well, we met up for a little bit. He got to see the regular cab truck. Yes, that's a cool truck. Is right it nice? There. It looks. Clean. Oh yeah, it's 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 really sweet. He got to see it in person. We couldn't drive it over today because it was just me at my house. So I had to drive his truck over here. So we're gonna get to opening up the door right now and letting him lay eyes on his new truck. Yes. You excited? Yes. Oh yeah. You're from Georgia. Yes. So how do you like this bitter cold 18, 20 degree weather? <laughs> It's cool. It's <laughs> he's, like, he's like, he's like, no. You're tougher no. than we are. Yeah, well, I don't like it either, and I live here, so I don't think you really get used to it. But so we're gonna open up the door, let him see his truck. Okay, 
Congratulations. Thank you. I'm sure some people want to know, why did you pick this truck over the 2015? Like, what were the main things that drew you to this truck with the $5,000 option maybe over the 15 tradesmen? Well, the first is I've just looked up the 12 out Cummins, and I love their old school reliability of just always working. I like the simplicity of the setup. You know, the engine's not got a bunch of extra stuff on it. I had a 98 1500, so this model and design is close to me because that was my first vehicle, and I loved it. Everything about it just is perfect for me. I know the new one has bells and whistles, but I just like that old school simplistic reliability when it comes to this. Now I'm sure people are going to ask, dude, you could add 24 sticking out like three feet, you know, like what made you want the big meaty monsters? Like what made you want the smaller rim, more tire, like more meat on the bone? I've always been more of this look rather than the wider tires. I guess one of it maybe is just the overall drivability of it. I don't know. It just looks more of, I could just say like a work truck. It looks more classic to yeah. me to have it this design rather than the other one. I know a lot of people like the other look and we're saying it, but um, this is for me. I much prefer this. It's a great truck the way it is and I'm just gonna take care of it well. Is it big enough? Yes. People are gonna ask, how big is it in person? Does it do justice? How big does it look on camera? Well, when you, when if you We should have put Nasty right next to it. That would have been a good representation. At the car wash, he like backs it in and it's yeah. like bay by bay. He's like, this truck is so big. He's like, it's massive. Yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm 5'10", um, and that's where my head is. still higher. Give you an idea. Yeah. Give us a rotation. It's taller. <laughs> oh, yeah. This, uh, it's big. It's a lot of truck. <laughs> I'm a little jealous of your hood, too. That's what I was trying to do on the regular cab truck after ordering two hoods and neither of them working out. So I just had to go get a factory one from another parts truck. And I'm like, I can't get a cow hood to work. I'm like, how much you want for your hood? He's like, hundred bucks. I'm like, okay. Put it on the truck. get to the stop sign up here you're just gonna take a left again all right but how's it drive how's it feel how's that firm clutch feel uh -oh. <laughs> clutch is firm but it is nice and quality and uh, that torque from that diesel is very nice I love <laughs> it because you had a manual gas version of this truck right I had a manual 1500 V8 okay. with okay. a 5.7 Okay. Yeah, so he's already, like, he's used to driving a second gen manual. It's just gas version, of course, which it has yeah. its differences. But he's familiar with the whole, you know, stick and Dodge setup and all that jazz. So one of those types of deals. But it, it, it runs rich, that's for sure. It runs good. this first test drive in to make sure it's good to go for the next 10 hours. <laughs> yeah, gotta drive this thing back down onto Georgia. Rust Free Central. And I was asking him if they have a bunch of like rust free trucks down there, because I'm like, they're hard to come by up here. He's like, oh yeah, like, we got for sure. We got rust, rust free trucks everywhere. You're looking for more like actual wear and tear on the vehicle more than just yeah, you, rot. You're looking at, instead of rust, you're looking at high miles. High miles, rust, hours so. of maintain, stuff course, like that. Yeah. You know, gotta make sure the truck was cared for mechanically rather in, than seeing if the rust was the frame was rusting in the hand. Yeah, yeah, that's because that's an actual problem right here. That I've actually seen Swiss cheese frames and I, it's, uh, it's bad. I saw a little truck the other day, the uh, between the cab and the bed, the truck was sunk. <laughs> it was like the bed the bed mounts must have rotted and yes. just dropped the bed. You were actually looking to buy a truck recently, weren't you? I was second very gen. seriously looking. I was waiting for this giveaway and like, you know, if I did win the giveaway. I was, I was planning on getting a truck because I wanted a truck, man. I was ready to get it. Because you got a new job, too. Well, yes. Yeah. Going to be down at Plant Vogel start next Wednesday down there with this old truck right here. Super excited for the guy. We're going to get the truck back here and square things away, and he's going to be on his way. He 
said, do you want me to do a donut in the driveway? He ain't never done a donut in his life. What the heck? This is nice. This is very nice. I'm in here at the barn by the fire. That was a good experience. Jacob got his truck and it was actually kind of crazy. He was talking about he was trying to get this, this welding job. He said he gets accepted and he's thinking, I need a truck. And then like a day or two later, he gets a call that he won the truck. So they're on their way back. They got to drive, he said 10-ish, 11-ish hours. So they got a full day ahead of them of driving. Super cool guy. What do you think about that truck though? When that truck was driving away, I'm like, they always look so much better driving away. Why do they look so good leaving? <laughs> because that's the only time we get to see them half the time because they're always getting stuff done. Yeah, that's like the only time we get to see them driving and we're not the ones driving them. So I'm like, man, that truck looks so good. But I'm super happy for him. Congratulations, Jacob. You're a cool guy and uh, could not be happier for you and I will catch you guys back at the house in a bit. Okay everybody, so this is the last part of the video that I wanted to get in here for you guys and that's this truck. This is your last full week to enter to win this truck. Every $5 is five entries to win. This truck plus $5,000 cash could be yours. If you wanna be as lucky as Jacob, you gotta take the chance. Anyways guys, thank you so much. Get entered today, information's in the description below. It's as easy as placing an order, checking out, you are entered to win this truck plus five grand. Thank you guys so much, I'll catch you in the next video.